Hello and welcome back to the channel. Uh, in this video, I'm going to be talking about something that's very, very um, unfortunate and tragic at the same time. Uh, we are looking at a situation that kind of reminds me of a story I recently covered. Um, you all may remember where I talked about uh, the big R um, is something that they are saying that will make so-called black people physically sick. And um, in this case, um, it went above and beyond that. We are talking about uh, Lincoln University Vice President of Student Affairs. Um, she is no longer with us um, after suffering from workplace bullying. Now, the details of this are very, very unnerving to me because uh, this woman was telling others what was going on. I'm going to share the details with you. And it fell on deaf ears and uh, there was uh, no real effort made to hear what she had to say. So again, we're talking about uh, the VP of Student Affairs at a historically black university in Missouri. Uh, she is no longer with us and she took her, long, her own life after she lodged several complaints um, alleging workplace bullying and harassment, um, enraging alumni and stoking calls uh, for the university president's termination. Okay, of course, he's a white male. We'll get more into that in just a moment. Um, KRCG received documents and emails that detailed the final thoughts of Dr. Antoinette Bonnie Candia Bailey, uh, the Vice President of Student Affairs at um, Lincoln University in Jefferson City, as well as her complaints about school leadership. Uh, in these statements, the administrator claims she suffered stigmatized bullying uh, from the University President, Dr. John Mosley, and the Board of Curators after disclosing her mental health struggles. Uh, Candia Bailey, who graduated from the university uh, in 1998, said she was intentionally harassed and bullied after getting a poor evaluation. Uh, when she reportedly asked for help for Mosley about this, uh, the president allegedly ignored requests, failing to respond to emails, or when face-to-face -face danced around the topic. It goes on to say that the Vice President of Student Affairs also contacted the Board of Curators about Mosley, about, about his alleged behavior, and the Board President responded in part, please be advised the Board of Curators does not engage in the management of personnel issues for Lincoln University and will not be taking further action released, I'm sorry, related to this issue. Uh, reporters review the Board of Curators bylaws and it's unclear whether they can take on issues relating to personnel or human resources. Um, in an email on the day she took her own life, Candia Bailey requested some, someone else speak with her family on behalf of the administration. She went on to say, and I quote, you are not to have any contact, she wrote, end quote. Uh, you've caused enough harm and mental damage. That's a quote as well. Okay. Outrage members of the LU Alumni Association took to social media to express their anger, demanding Mosley's firing or resignation. They even started a hashtag, Fire Mosley, to bring attention to the incident. Uh, Dr. Antoinette Bonnie Candia Bailey's tragic loss uh, to taking her own life calls us to action. Join us in solidarity with Lincoln University of Missouri, Missouri in demand for accountability and stand against the silence surrounding mental health and bullying. Uh, this is from Alexis and Jeanette Wells, a Lincoln University alumna. Okay, 
and she wrote that on Instagram. Together we can speak or spark a movement for a safer and more compassionate world. Um, I literally just with her, I was literally just with her at homecoming and she was like, I'm just trying to make it through. This is what Hill told KRCG. Um, her whole demeanor had changed. Uh, she was still smiling, but you could tell that something was off. Uh, something was different. Uh, the news station reached out to Lincoln University leaders for comment, but they declined the request. Uh, the Board of Curators is scheduled to meet at 3 p.m. Friday, January 12th, uh, with a partially open session agenda. So I want to remind you all of something. And before I do that, I want to get um, the image of this fella up there. I want you all to take a look at him. Take a look at this fella as well. You got a chance to see the woman. Now, here is this fella. That was the president. He was the one who ignored her request for some type of action. Okay. Uh, he is the one uh, that a lot of people are calling for his removal. Okay. He is one that is being accused of creating an environment that was not healthy for her to work in. Okay, there they are together right there in that image. Okay, and let me move that over a bit so you can get a better shot of things. Now, some of you all may remember. Okay, let me pull this back up here, him alone. Uh, some of you all may remember that I just recently covered um, a story where I was talking about um, how the big R, R-A-C-I-S-M, is literally making so-called black people sick. Literally. Okay? And um, for those of you who may not have seen that, I'm going to put it on the screen here uh, so that you can see uh, the title of this video, I did this five days ago, right? Let me just scoot that over so you can see it here. They are literally making so-called black people sick. And there's the big R right there. Uh, there's a whole article talking about this. How research has found that creating a certain type of environment, a certain atmosphere in the workplace, words, taunting, bullying, threatening, whatever it is that's happening, you know, and it's not just in the workplace, but in general, just period. Um, it is very, very intentional that you have folk doing this. It's not healthy. And so this woman, this is a very good example of what I was talking about in that video, how the environment, being in such an environment has proved to be a detriment for our people. It has proved to be a detriment. And in the case of this woman, you see on the screen, she paid for it with her life. Okay? Um, it was so much on her to where Dr. Antoinette Bonnie Candia Bailey decided that she couldn't take it anymore. She decided to take her own life. Now, this is a very, very sad and tragic story, but I wanted to share it with you all. And I wanted to point out again that this is further proof, further evidence of what I was talking about the other day. Well, where the big R literally does make so-called black people sick. And it is by design. This system has been built this way. This is not... Um, an isolated incident. She's just being talked about because of the, the steps she took to relieve herself of this. She entered her own life. But uh, many times black people will suffer in silence. They will go through this and they will be treated like what they are going through is absolutely nothing at all. Uh, they will treat the perpetrators more like the victim. Um, as you see, they're trying to get laws passed that if you even accuse a person of the big R that you can be in trouble. You can be fined in upwards of $35,000 or even possibly sued for even calling someone that. Now, in this situation, 
Dr. Bailey, she did not say that anyone called her a slur, but it is very clear, very, very clear that the pressure and the bullying and what she was experiencing was enough to where it was causing pressure. Now, some would call it the big R, but in the case like this where you can't say, well, they called me this, that, and the third, this is further proof again of what I was saying that you don't have to call someone a slur to be able to prove that something is the big R. But that's what they're trying to do. They're trying to make it seem like uh, if it didn't come out of their mouth, you can't say that that's what it was. We all know that if she was an attractive blonde VP, she would have gotten all of the attention that she needed, especially if you put blue eyes on it. She would have gotten all of the attention that she needed. We all know this. But there are those who will try to pretend like they don't know what the heck we're talking about, like we're making it all up. So anyway, I am done with this video. Uh, chop it up in the comment section. As always, keep it tight and keep it right. But until next time, I'm out. We hope you liked today's topic. Please leave your comments below. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel, share it like this video, and with that, we're out. Be sure to ring the bell to be notified of new uploads on this channel, and also comment, share, like, and subscribe.